Hey guys, I've got to tell you a story about Anthony Scott. Um, I was like a little 13 year old drum and I obviously grew up in South Beach and didn't come for much, but um, I love surfing. I got introduced to the water through Alistair Taylor, the age of nine, I met him in karate, and he got me into bodyboarding. And then I bodyboarded for like two years. I was 11, I started standing on surfboards. So I was surfing with the South Beach guys, South Beach rats, and uh, Alton Fursman, Stephen, and Kat, and a bunch of other guys, Mark Mayer and stuff. And we used to have these little competitions, and Warren Dixon, so Dixie a lot too. But remember, as I was like kind of going to Beachwood, I went there, stand of six, and, and my eyes opened up more. There were guys like Wade Sharp, Noel Romney. Uh, Vince King, Cole Rue, so many great surfers in that school and um, my surfing level kind of started pushing, I started staying in North Beach and you know, Anthony Scott came kind of around and we were watching this guy surf and I was like, my gosh, I want to surf like him. He's so powerful. I mean, he has sponsored a full kit, front line, you know, we have a reef, I think, I don't know who it was, I can't remember, but he sponsored by Bay International, I think, those days. And um, I watched this guy surf, I was like, oh my gosh, I want to surf him. He's just so powerful, so good, and so ahead of his time. I mean, he destroy waves. Like... And that he motivated me. He motivated me to want to be the best surfer I could be. Him and Wade Sharp, Wade Sharp is another great, great surfer. I mean, Wade stays in his epic street control and that. He used to see his boards in the room and say, like, oh, man, Wade Sharp stays in. <laughs> so cool, eh? But Scotty, freaking absolutely love you, bro, and uh, your surfing inspired me to go big and go hard and push it as hard as I could, you know. Hit the lip, destroy it. Go, hit me, hit me, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> bro, get back on it and do it because you can. Big love, bro. And Scott, where do we start off describing the man himself? I've known Ant for a long time, from the 80s, from the Bay, cattle man hanging out with all the lads, but Ant had a, a whole different ball game. He, he was loud in the water, fucking loud on, the, on, the, on land. His surfing was next level in the 80s. I mean, when we at school, there wasn't a team that could fucking stop us. He was power himself. Jason, the Howarths, you know, Donks Cleaver, I mean, Alan Hoppy. There was just such a power team. And Ant Surfing was just rail upon rail, bashing, smashing, aggressive, aggressive on that water. And he, he, was, he was, should have been deserved a lot more than and what uh, some of the results that he got handed to him. He should have been a multiple, multiple fucking champion. But Scotty, some of the lattes of today don't know about proper power and uh, you had it, buddy. You had it all the way, mate. Nice to, nice to call you a good mate and a good friend after 30 years plus, mate. Take care, Cuddy. Scott, when I think about Ant Scott, I just think powerhouse, big rail game, just smashing the lip, showing the lip zero respect whatsoever, um, absolute legend as well, good friend, loyal, hell of a hug. top top O, top top surfer. Ant Scott, what a weapon. I was so lucky to grow up watching guys like Shane Thorne, Wade Sharp, Byron Howard, and Scott just freaking tearing up North Beach, New Pier Bay. Um, super inspiring. I always loved how um, aggressive and surfing was, but also super stylish and powerful and fast. And uh, 
he had all the attributes, he ticked all the boxes and uh, so privileged to, to grow up watching guys like Ant rip it up every single day. Definitely owe a lot to, to Ant and the crew for, for my career and uh, raising the bar every single day down there. So yeah, what a madman. Hey guys, you won't believe it who I found in Nuki, Nick Williams. <laughs> Same as me, but I've got an excuse. I've got a leg and a belly. You've just got a belly, bro. You lose that chip and get back out there. Antoni, Makunoni, how are you, Kazi? Hope you're well, Kazi. Sending you lots of love. Antony! Antony! How's it going? Scott, where do I even start? I've, I've never actually seen surfing like that since then. The power and the aggression that I saw the first time I ever saw and surf was unbelievable. It's unparalleled. I was uh, hanging around with Michael for a couple of weeks. Didn't even know he had a brother. And I was, I was bodyboarding the one day out at North Beach. It was at Derry actually. And uh, yo, I tried a paddling for this wave and the host starts, hey, hey. And this host starts coming down the line and just whacking it. But it's spray, spray. The entry slash just spray everywhere. Uh, backed off, paddled away. I, started, I was like, hey, to my mate, who's that? Oh, no, it's Anthony Scott, bro. That are going to be the next big thing. Hey, it's going to be the champ, this, that, that. Hey, went on to become the champ, bro. Proved his point. But wow, what a surfer, what a legend, what a guy. Still a legend, still an awesome guy. Just smokes to ride a longboard these days. But hey, as long as you're still surfing, and I love you, brother. Well played. Keep on rocking. Hey, hi, it's TJ. How you doing, guys? So, and Scott. Wow, you know, like, I remember him as a, as a youngster. You know, I started surfing when I was about 12, 13. I was bodyboard before that. Um, I loved the beach. Grew up in Durban. Um, and I was in the water many times at the bay and at Derry um, and at Pirates at uh, Battery Beach. And Ant was in the water nearby and just ripping it up, you know. He was an inspiration to a lot of us. Um, I was never a competition surfer. I was always into like free surfing and I love surfing up and down the coast and you know, Durban's a, and the coastline of KwaZulu Natal in South Africa is a beautiful place to surf and grow up. But Ant was an inspiration. He did so well, you know. We were all very proud of Ant, you know. And I followed his career. I always um, was inspired by him and his generation of surfers. South Africa had some fantastic surfers back in the day. Um, you know, it's been an absolute privilege um, catching up with Ant over the last couple of weeks and putting together this documentary. The guys that all got involved, you know. Um, I, I, I hold his family in high regard. I used to actually manage Ant's brother's band, Deranged, back in the early 90s. And um, I know the family well. And, um, you know, Ant, I really hope that you get back in search. You know, even, even if it's like longboarding or just getting in the water with your buddies and stuff, you know, it's um, it's always good for the heart and soul, you know. Peace and love, and uh, all the best, but lots of love, yeah, TJ. <laughs> Hey guys, this is Mark Reeves from Bali. I'm going to tell you about Ant Scott. You all ready to hear this? He had one of the best styles I've seen. He had the best calf. His off the tops and his S turns were insane. He was one of the best up and coming surfers that ever. And I'm very proud of him. And I wish he was back in the water. And let's hope that all comes true. 
if it doesn't, I'll bring it to Bali and I'll put him on these legs over here so he can pull him back in. And it's got pretty much the strongest little drum I've seen with all the tops. He is a vertical attacker, pretty much like E.T. Bottom Nose used to be. He had the style, he had everything going for him. And I'll tell you one thing, I respected him highly. Because just because of the way he could come off the top, he could come off the limp, he could barrel ride, he could do all that. Now I'd like to bring him over to Bali where I live and I'd like to see him do that all over again. What can you say about Enscott? Enscott is a typical 80s surfer person. Before all these uh, liberal chops came along and you had to surf and train and do all that stuff. Enscott was explosive in the water and out the water. Surfed hard, party hard. No one had to live harder. None of this floppy stuff sliding the rails. It was just power surfing. Put it on the rail, best bottom turn, best top turn. Smash it up as hard as you can. Surf the hardest you can, and then afterwards, party with the boys as hard as you can. No gun in the gym, none of that rubbish. Genuine 80s, way to go. Surf hard, party hard, live hard, enjoy life. And all the people that say no, they're born in the 90s. They're soft liberal chops. Yeah, there was this guy and Scott that kind of, uh, he was like this sponsor's dream. Uh, he had the perfect blonde hair. I don't know if he's got blue eyes, but he had everything. He had, uh, and I think because of that, uh, sponsors loved it, man. He was just so, so smooth. Um, well, he's got the hottest chicks too. Um, but uh, the one thing I noticed is like ha having been so smooth, when the guy hits the water, he's just got so much dirt and grit and power. You know, something I think uh, is missing from a lot of um, the best surfers in the world at the moment. Um, so yeah, just just a solid, solid surfer. Um, um, I remember quite clearly um, paddling out and I might have got in the way or dropped in on someone by mistake and it was Wade Sharp and, and uh, Ant was out there, I think. Uh, and Wade said, hey, I'm not gonna be heavy to you, but um, you need to go in and go watch us surf and I'm, I'm saying that in the nicest possible way and it was probably the best thing that Wade Sharp ever said to me is go watch and the one guy that stood out to me the whole time was actually Ant Scott like, Ant Scott was so freaking power um, you know I don't know I can't remember how he did it in contests and all of that stuff but the the, the memories I have of, of how hard he used to hit hit the lip on his forehand and his back. He had this crazy layback hack uh, on his forehand and then he used to go past Vert on his backhand but he used to kind of like punch the wave back. It was so powerful. Um, yeah, it's just, I think he was sort of maybe ahead of his time and uh, I mean if you chose who was the people's favorite in that time it was probably Ed Scott. Uh, in my opinion, I mean, I, I, you know, when people used to ask me, like, who's the best surfers in Durban, straight away, first to mind would probably be Ant Wade, Sharp, um, Mark Young, jeez, uh, man, the list just goes on and on. But yeah, it'd be good to see him back in the water if he wants it. <laughs> I'm sure you influenced uh, a lot of people to surf really good and powerful. I wish you the best, Ant, so hopefully we can catch up for a beer or a surf someday, man. Uh, keep well and... Yeah, see you out there, buddy. Scott and phoned me the other day in his excited sort of way. And uh, I, uh, thanks, Ant. I feel privileged and honored for sure just to share for your documentary. Um, I think they should have called it the, uh, the Scottinator. Uh, just actually got a new board called the uh, Dominator. Firewire and I'm just busy waxing it up and thinking about Ant Scott and uh, yeah he definitely dominated in his surfing and um, he, he 
definitely, uh, I don't think I've ever seen anyone hit that lift that hard and with that much just grit and pure raw power. And he had these short legs and the stocky sort of build and uh, it was just insane to watch. You'd actually just want to sit on the beach at times and just watch that and appreciate that and learn from that. And I think my brother and I, uh, my twin brother Lee and I, definitely took a lot from that in our surfing. You know, just power, just uh, his timing and his precision and his speed and, and flow through that. And it was just raw, it was pure raw. And I never forget uh, Greg Swart telling me uh, about a trip that him and Ant went on down the south coast and they were going really hard. And, um, and even Greg said to me, you know, that that was, he had never seen anyone hit the lip that hard in his whole entire life. And I uh, completely agree with that. And uh, yeah, thanks brother, good to hear, good to hear you well. And uh, yeah, big love bro. And uh, hopefully see you in that lineup soon. Uh, Godspeed bro. Scotty, well, uh, geez, what can I say, Scotty? Thanks for reaching out and, uh, you know, uh, asking uh, to bring up a few memories, say a few words um, on your behalf. Uh, it's, it's a true honor and pleasure. Right? I've only got the fondest memories of you. Uh, you know, looking back as a Grom, we looked up to Scotty so much. Uh, you know, raw power, aggression. Uh, just natural talent, uh, you know, came onto the scene in a flash and just blew everyone's minds away. As a grommet looking up to him, uh, we were all, you know, had heaps of respect. Coming from that kind of era, uh, Devon Beachfront was so much raw talent. Scotty was definitely a standout by far. Uh, everything he did in the water, he did out the water, whether it was, you know, all the sports he did at school, uh, the chicks, not to mention the chicks, Scotty was a weapon. And and also just in everything he did, you know, um, just an absolute animal. You know, for me, he was our, our Matt Hoy of that generation. Um, and he let his surfing do the talking. He came onto the scene and just busted it wide open. Springbok surfer, Natal champ, um, everything, mate. Like, and Scotty, mate, we, we miss you. We want you back in the water. Um, you know, I've got such fond memories of you, you know, giving us a lot of shit, but I'm sure we gave you a lot of shit, myself and Basta, the Bissett boys, Luke Bud, we had a, we had a pretty awesome generation of surfers, so I thank you for that, Scotty, I thank you for, you know, everything you did for our surfing in South Africa, um, the accolades you did, taught us a lot, taught us how to go in there and take things, taught us how to be aggressive, and just show the world that uh, we had some of the best up and coming surfers of that generation. Bro, we love and miss you. I wish I could see you more. Um, it'd be awesome to see you back in the water um, as I'm sure everyone else would like to see you. Um, you know, thank you again for your friendship and everything you did for us growing up, mate. Good and bad, you know, yeah. Got a couple slaps to the head, but I'm sure I deserved it. But that's, uh, you know, that's what makes Scotty Scotty. And uh, here's to you, brother. Uh, you deserve everything and more. And we want you back, bro. You! Scotty and Scott. Wow. Um, where do I begin? Bay days. Post Sean Thompson era. Probably the hottest time. The most amount of talent. In one beach, end of the Bay of Plenty. And Scotty was amongst as a kid. Um, White Sharp, Barry Van Der Meel and Noel Rami on, on the heels of Peter Lawson, Tommy Lawson's burn. You know, uh, so many, so many good surfers and Scotty was right there amongst it. Unfortunately, that whole era of surfers had the end of apartheid to deal with and they got squeezed hard with sponsorships, traveling. I remember bumping into Scotty in Europe for one year and 
he was beat, bro. He just asked me if he could have a shower, hot shower. They'd been on the road for two, three months. For some surfers in that era that were that good, traveling just wasn't was what it was meant out to be. And they became local heroes. And Scotty was one of those surfers that uh, he put his money where his mouth was. He told you he was going to go out and win a heat, and he'd fucking win the heat. But he wouldn't just win it, he'd smash it, bro. One of the most powerful, talented surfers ever. True inspiration to us grommets growing up in that part of the world. I was lucky to have a sidekick like Lazzy and Mark Jacko to keep me afloat. Scotty was always there looking after us. All of them, Justin Cleaver, Jason Ribbing, all those, those, you know. Um, like I said, Wade, Seth Hulley. Part of a, an amazing, amazing group of talented surfers that were very unlucky, but you know, Scotty, head old, head old heart, brother. Be good to see you back in the water, cutting some lips. Uh, we miss that energy. We miss that attitude. We miss that put your money where your mouth is. Talks cheap. And um, a couple young kids, if they had your 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 uh, go for it attitude, uh, they'd be on the tour nowadays. But Scotty, we miss you, bro. Love you, bro. One time. So many people that had a huge influence on my life. Um, Barry Wallens, uh, you took me under your wing, sponsored me from a from a young kid, Bear International days. Sean Thompson. If you're out there listening to this, I was the number one amateur turning pro, and Quicksilver offered me 10,000 Rand a month, and Sean Thompson doubled it. Um, Alan Stahl, Peter Daniels, Cyril Budd, PD, the best board, best board shaper ever in the world. Yeah, I kind of felt like I let, let guys down, especially Sean. You know, I, I, I don't even think I got through one heat overseas, but it was very difficult. Traveling two days, getting lost, arriving at events. I remember my first event in Europe. I'd been driving for two days, arrived at the event, and Mark, I, my first heat was Victor Rivas, Rob Machado, and Mark Bannister. Mark Bannister and Rob Machado ended up going through to come first and second in the event. I was knocked out first first round, so... Yeah, then went, then went, went on to uh, California. Barry sponsored me with uh, Ripco wetsuits. Spent three months in Hawaii with Lance Slabbert, Frankie Olberholzer. Yeah, just so many good memories. So many good memories, guys. Just, um, yeah, just if I've left anybody out, oh, just my, my parents, my my brother, my family, Shane Thorne. Oh, there's just so many. Just the, 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 It just will go on and on and on and on and on. But, um. Yeah, just love all you guys. Hello, man. I, uh, I'm not Anthony Scott since he was like 11, 12 years old. Lighty. Never served before. And I um saw an alley, actually Alice and I don't remember myself, both of us. Two men and wings, got into surfing, organized with surfboards, all that one right around the whole trip. Into his first contest, he didn't even know about it, but anyway, into his first contest, shut himself, five to six foot, occasional seven foot wave, he cut himself. And uh, anyway, he you know, he was a little baby that's probably his own. He came out of that flying colours. He didn't win the heat, obviously he came stone off, but dumped every takeoff. But by the uh, I think within two months, I think he was uh, winning every contest. Yeah, you know, in his in his uh, age group he was winning every contest. And then he won the boys championships, I think it was. I think it was the boys championships. He won it once, and he won it again, and he won it again, he won it again, and he uh, Sort of cleaning up a bit. And, uh, well, that's, yeah, I've never seen a guy, a youngster, <clears throat> hits a lip as hard as he did. It's always like he was trying to spray the ships back to the fucking ocean. He lashed that lip. Uh, made me think a lot of Mark Vaness, you know, Mark Vaness was surfing, lashed that lip. Look, look like Lump like, Mother, no, one was a goofy one, was natural, you know, I get that. But both of them surf bloody well. Actually, actually, he served a lot like another guy too, Martin Potter. But, uh, you know, 
I think that's where the similarity ended. Anyway, that's all I can really say about Anthony Scott. Brilliant surfer, brilliant surfer. The nicest guy you'll never be. You'll never meet a nicest guy. Okay, here's Mr. Sheldon Brissett. How's it, James? What's happening? This is Sheldon from Learn to Surf 101. I'm here with uh, Ann Scott. Ann Scott. Like, uh, yes, <laughs> Ann, yeah, really. She's a killer at the bay. One, two, uprights. <laughs> All happening, bro. I'm a tall champion. Old school boy. Really can surf. And uh, yeah, he's coming back into the water. Come on, Ann. Get back into the water. It's time. Oh, it's time. So it's time. Back up. That's the love, guys. Back in the game. Back in the game. Shot. 101. Back up. Like a Like a shelly. If you're looking for us, look behind you. We'll be in the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Ann Scott. First surf of the 10 years. Here he is at the North Beach <coughs> Durban Surf with Mr. Dean Minay. How are you, Dino? Laka. Here we go. First surf brew. The Scottaline is back in action. Surf clapped. That was like a bridge. Rusty than I thought. But I pedaled. Well done. So for picking up Dean and Ken. Appreciate it, boys. Scotland! <laughs> Scotty, your first first spot, bro. All the chopsticks. <laughs> City gun battle. Fight on the stand paddle. Hang on, Jump this was the, the golden chopsticks. Used to come here every Sunday for lunch. I used to see Martin Potter walk past to the wedge. That's what made me surfing. Well, what made me start surfing? I used to go down, sit on the rocks, watch this guy do upside down aerials, ask my dad if I could surf. The rest was history. Here we go, the Scott Mentry. There's the wedge beach brew where he started. Fox. What's the lab? <laughs> this is the Belmont. Bel Belmont Arcade, uh, Sean Thompson surf shop was downstairs here. 19 flippin' jeez. 1980, 1981. Me and Jay, second surf. Jerry Beach. <laughs> day by day. Day one by day, day. One day at a time. Scotty's coming back. One day at a time, boys. Hey, Scotty. Learn here. Down in Jay Bay. I was really stoked to see you getting back in the water there in Durban. Never forget those days in the late 80s when you had that dream run with the Natal Champs winning it four or five times. You were one of the hot young guys at the bay, ripping it up there. And great to see you back in the water. Hopefully you'll be able to do a trip down here to J Bay and you can get a few waves sometime. <laughs> Surfing with Chloe, Ruby, and Jason. <laughs> Surf number three on our way, me and Jay. Yes, Scotty. <laughs> Third surf club. Small, tiny, howling west. Shot, Jay. Measure, Scotty. Every day a little bit better, brother. Yeah, one day. Uh, Greg. Greg Torres, I'll be here with Jay. Torres. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Greg. Hello, Greg. Hello, Greg. Wow. My good friend Scotty, sure, so much can be said about him on so many levels. Uh, I've always said to him, he's a better friend uh, to me than I've been to him. And uh, yeah, just a really incredible friend. And as a surfer, just was one of those new young guys that came on the scene and just sent horror and shockwaves into the older guard. Um, just had a really, really incredible style from the get-go. Uh, just remember you get two kinds of surfers, a shoestring and a crab, and Anthony kind of sat somewhere in between, and he just had this unique positioning of his front foot. It was like quite a square on the board, and it just made his bottom turn, top turn combination just so lethal. And just as a young guy, I was just always just really powerful, uh, just fully irreverent. And I think, um, you know, watching him growing up, uh, you know, we weren't very tight when he was younger. 
it was only as he kind of got uh, into his you know, sort of 18, 19 and into the army we started living together and hanging out and uh, that's when I just remember having the most incredible surf with the guy. I watched him one day on the south coast break a board doing a re-entry. I heard it snap, hitting the lip so hard. I'll never forget that. And um, yeah, just extremely, extremely powerful, fluid style. And uh, I just remember him um, discovering who he was and that he was able to beat guys. And I remember when that penny really dropped for him, I remember watching him just destroy guys in the water and uh, just had a really full ball, hard, solid approach. And uh, yeah, it was just great to, great to see, great to go surfing with him. And uh, yeah, we used to push each other heaps. And um, you know, just with him being younger and the rate at which he started coming on stream, uh, really for me being an older guy was just you know, really inspiring and it kept me way on my toes. And uh, yeah, uh, solid human being all around, great friend, great surfer, and yeah, great businessman. Passion and love for cars, um, great to see him living all those things. Um, I first became aware of Anne Scott um, probably 1987 uh, when he was at DHS, I think, as a boy or a junior. Um, in those days, there was such a rich crop of young surfers from North Beach Bay area. Wade, Mark Young, Troy Wells, and Scott, and um, the kind of surfing that I liked was pretty much being done by Wade and, and Scott. And I think if Ant had had a fair crack at it back then, I'm talking about the qualifying part of the tour back then, um, he would have had a, a good career, I think. Um, that picture in the victory ad is even relevant today um, from a manoeuvre point of view and that was like 25 years ago so always full, full power surfing um, always on the rail and that's you know I didn't really know Ant too well back then still don't know him too well now but um, it's nice to see him back in the water again you know we all get older and kind of mentally live off how you used to surf back in the day which is hard to accept when you get back in the water after such a long time you kind of go shit what's happened to me or whatever but you know as long as you're enjoying yourself and and um, getting back in the water that's the main thing so good to see making the effort and keep it up and uh, yeah have some waves Session six, best session yet, Scotty. Lost my board, <laughs> had a swim, got, good four, swim. got four on the head. <laughs> Long swim, but you did well, brother. Thanks, of you. thanks brother. Another day. Back out tomorrow, another day. River, Scotty, surf what, what number are we at? Six, so number six. <laughs> Wave, water's clean. Water's clean, we're out there. Good day. I got thumped this morning, fucking took one on the head. Lost my board, got another, got another three. Had a swim in, but I made a Jason record. Fuck, Scotty, you swam, you swam like, like you had a shark chasing you. <laughs> Jason's gonna take the jet ski on the weekend, taking him on my first tow and session. <laughs> session take, seven done. <laughs> take two, Chloe, take forgot two. Spend <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, so more time underwater than on the water, but to, no, tomorrow we're progressing to uh, six, what? Six, five? Six, six. Six, six, back on the short board. Shot, Jay. Well done, Scotty. Proud of you, brother. Thanks, bro. Jay, Scotty. Session eight. Well done, Scotty. Good day today, bro. Small board first day. It took, took a bit of strain, but we did. What's up, Tim? What's, What's up, Chris? <laughs> I'm with my brother and Scott, one of the legend surfers <laughs> down in KZN. The boys make a comeback. What a lucky thing to check in. Shot, my brother. <laughs> Give it up for the Shot. man, brother. Good morning, world. Good morning, Chris Leclerc here, all the way from Durban. Had such a cracking session this morning with the one and only, the legend himself, Anthony Scott. 
and such a powerhouse surfer growing up back in the school days I can safely say that I never ever beat him in any contest the boy is a legend so good to see you making a comeback seeing in the water this morning so stoked Ant was one of the top surfers of KZN I remember very clearly uh, had a style very similar to the famous Martin Potter and uh, this boy would turn it on at any surf whether it was small whether it was big the guy was electric huge turns powerful turns big spray the boy knew how to sink the tail and squirt the rail and keep charging bro looking forward to seeing you in the water again god bless nine or ten, buddy. session nine Good. short board got smashed got a few barrels on my knees <laughs> uh, big improvement a lot of paddling did really well scotty well, well done brother i'm proud of you dude. Shot, Jay. thanks yeah. boys gotta check out the surf small Check out, I'm with legend Jason Rimmick and the legend Spider Murphy. <laughs> All the boys. I don't know who this lady is. Zadie. 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 <laughs> Jay Scotty session what? I think nine Scotty. Nine Scotty. <laughs> Jay Scotty session what? I think nine Scotty. Nine Scotty. <laughs> I think nine. Boys are small, but we're out there. Looks fun. Hey Scotty, first session 10. Good day, good day. Very crowded today. We had fun. Jesus. <laughs> but well done, Scotty. Shot, bro. Every day better, bro. Yeah, I like her. Jay, okay, Scotty, what, what session are we? Session 10. Number 10 today, 10, Scotty. Scotty. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. it. Like How's it, guys? Andre Stein. Um, and Scott. Yeah, where do I start? Scotty, 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 Scotty. I remember Ant. I think it was 89, 90. I was in Afrikaans school. And I surfed competition against all the schools, I remember. And I remember surfing against Ant in 89, 90. Um, it was in the college. I can't remember the college name. Memory used to rip like hell. I remember looking up to Ant, Noel Rami, Jason Ribbing. All these boys there eh? um, in the old days. So Scotty used to rip like hell. Glad to see you back in the surf, my boy. Um, Scotty, good man, good art. And uh, even when I wasn't a police, I've left the police now. My body, right? I'm my hands full of Scotty, <laughs> but only good things, not bad things. <laughs> uh, hey, Scotty, we're proud of you, brother. Hey, um, Sorry if you get back into the surf. You're a good man. Um, big up to Robin, to Jay. Um, I might just join you again one of these days, eh? I know I used to rip the longboard and the shortboard in a day. Um, you know, let's get back into it together. I know you're there already. Laka Mabuti. Love you lots and uh, keep going, brother. Salute. Session 11 club. Frustrating day. Probably had the two, three best waves of the of the morning. And just can't get past my knee, man. I'm a short board. Just get stuck with my fat gut. But perseverance. Like a <laughs> session 11. Scotty and Jay. Oh, the looking. Ways look amazing today. I think we're gonna have fun. Yeah, like a let's, awesome day, bro. Let's hit it. Session 12. Session 12 today, Scotty, very small. Tally. Trying to convince you to get on a bigger board, but <laughs> you're on the shorty, so let's go do it, brother. I like that, oh. <laughs> well done, Scotty. small crap. You got up, bro. You got up, your ankle twisted, but you got up, brother. So we're getting there, bro. Like we're on, getting bro. there. Sure. Well done. And Wild monkey, literally like 27 years, 37 years away from him. He's 
Been through the malls like all of us have been. Love Scotty. So glad you're in the water, Scotty. So awesome in the water. So proud of you, brother. And that's where you belong. I'm glad you got a new surfboard today. And yeah, Scotty, just get in the water. Keep those rails surfing going like you did, bro. I think Scotty was SA champ, school's champ from like 87 to 8 to 90. Took over the champ from Weight Sharp. So love to see you in the water and happy day, Scotty. Shot. Look. Got Ribbo for my board. So stoked, brother. You're a fucking legend. Pleasure, brother. So nice to help, and I'm looking forward to the project. Okay, got my new board from Jason this morning. 6'4. Fucking so stoked, like a little kid again. Brand new board. <laughs> All for me. Thank you, Jay. Good surf. Let's rock it, bro. Guys, this is the spot that Greg Swartz and I found called the bridge. Tualumi. That's where I slapped my tail off. <laughs> Getting a lip so hard with Greg. We charged down here for a week. Just going crazy. Opening our eyes on the water. Just mad, mad place, mad place. And on my left, the famous spot. The spot. Crazy place. Yeah, awesome drive down the south coast. Do a little bit of walk down memory lane. <laughs> Some of the best surfing of my life down here. Myself and Greg Swatch to come down here and camp for like a week, two weeks at a time. <laughs> and just surf up right now. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, some really awesome memories. Great times, great people, great surfing. 